Join a trip to a sound mind and body with P-Ride. In this class, we will go through a journey to help you achieve a healthier lifestyle. I am Teacher Rodel El Rafon of Big Nine National High School, your PE body, here on FB Valenzuela Live. Grade 10 students, let's enjoy the different activities which I prepared for all of you. Protocols to follow during the live streaming class. Before we start, let us first be reminded once again with the protocols to follow during the live streaming class. 1. Respect everyone. 2. No hate speech. 3. Be guided with the anti-cyberbullying law. 4. No promotion of products or items. 5. Use appropriate words in giving suggestions, comments, and queries. 6. After the live streaming, attend discussion class in the FB Messenger classroom with the subject teacher. I hope everyone will be guided by the protocols for us to maintain the orderliness during our session. So allow me to give you the competencies that you are about to develop in our discussion. Assess as physical activity, exercise, and eating habits. Engages and moderate to vigorous physical activities for at least 60 minutes a day in and out of school. Before you get fully excited, participate in our short activity by typing your answers in our comment section. Challenge yourself in a six-item quiz. I will read the statements and choices once, and in five seconds, write the letter of the word that corresponds to the given statement. Statement number one. In the aspects of lifestyle, it is defined as conscious, collective, and repetitive behaviors which lead people to select, consume, and use certain foods or diets. A. Frequency B. Lifestyle C. Eating habits D. Physical activity The correct answer is C. Eating habits. Statement number two. A way in which an individual lives and it includes the typical pattern of an individual's behavior like everyday routine at home, in school, or at work, eating, sleeping, and exercise habits, and many others. A. Frequency B. Lifestyle C. Eating habits D. Physical activity The correct answer is B. Lifestyle Statement number three. In the aspects of lifestyle, any bodily movement produced by skeletal muscles that requires energy expenditure. A. Frequency B. Lifestyle C. Intensity D. Physical activity The correct answer is D. Physical activity. Statement number four. In physical activity index, this is an individual's level of effort compared with their maximal effort, which is usually expressed as percentage. A. Frequency B. Intensity C. Time D. Type The correct answer is B. Intensity Statement number 5 in physical activity index, this is the duration of workout or length of time spent in training. A. Frequency B. Intensity C. Time D. Type The correct answer is C. Time Statement number 6 In physical activity index, this is the number of training sessions that are performed during a given period. A. Frequency B. Intensity C. Time D. Type The correct answer is A. Frequency Well done, PE bodies! It's nice that you have a good strategy of identifying different active recreation. Good job! I know you are all excited, but before we proceed with our lesson, do you remember the basic first aid? 
Can you identify the common injuries of sports officials and athletes? All you need to do is to identify common injuries of sports officials and athletes presented within 5 seconds. You may comment your answers in the comment box. Are you ready? Let's begin! Number 1 Wonderful! The correct answer is sprain. Number 2 If your answer is strain, good job! Number 3 Excellent! The answer is knee injuries. Number 4 If your answer is fracture, you are doing great! Number 5 If your answer is dislocation, you are awesome! If you get 5 questions correctly, congratulations! Job well done! Did you know? There are first aid techniques to injuries during recreation and these acronyms shall be remembered when applying first aid to injuries during the conduct of recreational activities, the priced and harmed. The price means protection to remove additional risk or danger in the injured area. Rest to stop moving the injured area. Ice is to apply ice to the injured area for 20 minutes every 2 hours for 2 days. Then ice can be applied less frequently after the first 2 days until the 5th to 7th day instead. Either contrast baths or warm compresses will be applied to hasten the healing process of the damaged tissues. Compression is to apply an elastic compression bandage in the injured area. Elevation is to raise the injured area above the heart level. And diagnosis, acute injuries shall be evaluated by healthcare professionals in the first few days of an injury. Remember, avoid harm. Heat is any kind of heat will speed up the circulation, resulting in more swelling and longer recovery. And alcohol can increase swelling resulting to longer recovery. Next is running or other excessive exercise. Exercising can cause further damage to the injured part, and exercise also increases blood flow, resulting to more swelling, and massage increases swelling and bleeding into the tissue, prolonging recovery time. Let us have another activity, PA bodies. This activity is entitled Healthy or Unhealthy. All you need to do is to identify the different practices that show healthy or unhealthy lifestyle that is presented on your screen. You may answer by typing the word healthy or unhealthy. You only have 5 seconds to key in your answer. So are you ready? Let's begin! Briefcase number 1 Open If your answer is healthy, you are correct. Briefcase number 2 Open If your answer is healthy, you are incredible. Briefcase number 3 Open If your answer is unhealthy, you are magnificent. Briefcase number 4 Open If your answer is unhealthy, you are amazing. Briefcase number 5 Open If your answer is unhealthy, you are awesome. Briefcase number 6 Open If your answer is healthy, great job! 
briefcase number 7. Open! If your answer is healthy, you are brilliant! Briefcase number 8. Open! If your answer is unhealthy, you are fantastic! Briefcase number 9. Open! If your answer is healthy, that is impressive. Briefcase number 10. Open! If your answer is unhealthy, that is superb! Well done if you get 10 answers correctly! Before we proceed with our lesson for today, I will show you an illustration of a daily routine. What do you observe in this picture? Obviously, that is not a picture of an active lifestyle. This pattern of a daily routine shows an inactive and sedentary lifestyle that can negatively affect our health. What is lifestyle and physical activity? Lifestyle is the way in which an individual lives includes the typical pattern of an individual's behavior like everyday routine at home, in school, or at work, eating, sleeping, and exercise habits, and many others. These are related to elevated or reduced health risk. Your lifestyle is of most importance. Everything you do, whether good or bad, has an effect on your health. Your lifestyle involves a lot of aspects, like the physical activities you engage in, the food you eat, and daily habits you observe, the choices you make as a consumer, and many others. These different aspects of your lifestyle affects your overall health. Therefore, it is a must that you give attention to these factors to become a healthier individual. Teenagers like you may have practices or habits at home or in school that either elevate or reduce health risk. Do you spend a lot of your time at home just sitting down and doing nothing? Do you move a lot by helping out at home? Cleaning your house, for example. Do you love eating fruits and vegetables? Or do you prefer junk food or fast food? Teenagers like you should be more aware on how your nutritional practices can affect your health. Managing your lifestyle entails making modifications in your routine, especially those aspects that elevate health risk. Food choice, physical activity, and eating habits are some of the aspects of your lifestyle that can be modified to improve it. This modification should be done gradually, like reducing the intake of fatty food, getting up to reach for something instead of asking someone to get it for you, or walking faster and more often. The idea is that for health risk to be reduced, changes in your lifestyle should be made. While physical activity is planned, structured, and repetitive for the purpose of conditioning the body, exercise consists of cardiovascular conditioning, strength, resistance training, and flexibility. World Health Organization defines physical activity as any bodily movement produced by skeletal muscles that requires energy expenditure. Eating habits are defined as conscious, collective, and repetitive behaviors which lead people to select, consume, and use certain foods or diets in response to social and cultural influences. A lifestyle based on good choices and healthy practices maximizes the quality of life. It helps you avoid diseases, remain strong and fit, and maintain your physical and mental health. One of the most important practices is being physically active. People from all ages benefit from regular physical activity. Significant health benefits can be obtained by engaging in moderate amounts of physical activity on most, if not all days of the week, through a modest increase in daily activity. Most individuals can improve their health and quality of life. Additional health benefits can be gained through greater amounts of physical activity. 
individuals who can maintain a regular regimen of a more vigorous or longer duration activity are likely to obtain even greater benefits. And this is the physical activity intensity chart. Description, sample activities or program, health and fitness benefits, lifestyle physical activity, moderate exercise program, vigorous exercise program. Participation in regular moderate physical activity can lead to improved physical fitness. It is a condition whereby the systems of the body are able to function in their optimal efficiency associated with an individual's ability to work effectively, to enjoy leisure time, to be healthy, to resist disease, and to respond easily to emergency situations. Regular moderate physical activity means engaging in relatively vigorous bodily movement for 30 minutes to 1 hour that can elevate your heart rate. Regular here refers to being active in most, if not, all days of the week, about 3 to 4 times per week, or more are recommended times of exercise of an individual. You may opt to have rest days or easy days in between to allow your body to recover from the physical exertion. To know if the amount of effort exerted during physical activity will be beneficial to you, the FITT formula should be kept in mind. FITT stands for Frequency, how often, number of training sessions that are performed during a given period, usually one week. Intensity, how hard, an individual's level of effort compared with their maximal effort, which is usually expressed as a percentage. Time, how long, duration of a workout, including warm-up and cool-down, or the length of time spent in training mode of physical activity. Type, mode of physical activity. For example, you are used to leisurely walking for 20 minutes from your home to school and back from Monday to Friday. Applying the FITT formula would entail the following adjustment in your physical activity for it to become more than your usual practice, such as increasing the intensity of your pace to moderate to vigorous and decreasing the amount of time to do it. FITT formula Frequency Intensity Time, time. Changing from your usual to more than your usual does not necessarily mean changing everything in the FITT formula. Frequency can be retained but intensity is elevated, or both can be slightly adjusted but the time is increased, or the type is changed to a more challenging one. Remember, changing your FITT formula should be done gradually to give your body time to adjust to the demands you place on it. When your body is challenged to do more than what it is used to, changes in your body start to occur. If the physical activity is too easy for the body, changes, if any, would be minimal. Hence, your body should be challenged and more effort should be exerted. Good physical fitness is important because it contributes directly to the physical components of a good health and wellness, and indirectly to the other components. Good fitness has been shown to be associated with reduced risk for chronic diseases such as heart disease and has been shown to reduce the consequences of many debilitating conditions. Factors affecting physical fitness include age, gender, heredity, nutrition, activity, and disability, among others. These factors affect physical fitness in varying degrees since they are relative to the individual. For instance, if you eat an ample amount of food regularly, your fitness level will likely be higher than somebody who does not get enough nutrients on a regular basis. The same can be said with somebody who is very active compared with somebody who is very sickly. Let us have an activity. I want you to open your learning packet in physical education. Activity 1. Direction. Complete the table below. Based on the daily routines activity, or habits during stay at home. Activity number two, guide questions. Answer the following. Write your answer on your module. Number one, 
Describe your daily routine activity during your stay at home. Explain it briefly. 2. Does your daily routine of activities can be advantage or disadvantage to your overall health? Why? 3. How will you change and improve your daily routine of activities since you are required to be stay at home? 4. What is the importance of physical activity and proper eating habits to your fitness and well-being? Submit your activity to your teacher through FB Messenger Classroom, Google Form, or any other media platform. And this is the new Wellness Dance Campus video. Wellness is life! Enrichment Activities Perform the Nestle Wellness Dance 2016 in your home by using this link. And this is the sample video. Write questions. Answer the following. Write your answers on your notebook. 1. How do you feel after dancing the Nestle Wellness Campus 2016? 2. What is the importance of dance exercise in your daily lives? Complete the table. Walking. Aerobic dance. Congratulations! You may proceed now to the next level of learning. And for your assignment, answer the following. Direction. Complete the table for your weekly eating habits. Weekly eating habit table. Direction. Make your own FITT table for one week. You may choose one physical activities below. Under the type, jumping jacks, push-up, curl-ups, basic planking, jogging in place, and the following physical activities below is subject depending on the level of quarantine restrictions. Basketball, volleyball, Badminton, biking, and jogging. Remember, PE bodies, lifestyle is the way in which an individual lives, includes the typical pattern of an individual's behavior like everyday routine at home, in school, or at work, eating, sleeping, and exercise habits, and many others. These are related to elevated or reduced health risk. Your lifestyle is of most importance. Everything you do, whether good or bad, has an effect on your health. Your lifestyle involves a lot of aspects, like the physical activities you engage in, the food you eat, and daily habits you observe, the choices you make as a consumer, and many others. These different aspects of your lifestyle affects your overall health. Therefore, it is a must that you give attention to these factors to become a healthier individual. Managing your lifestyle entails making modifications in your routine, especially those aspects that elevate health risk. Food choice, physical activity, and eating habits are some of the aspects of your lifestyle that can be modified to improve it. While physical activity is planned, structured, and repetitive, for the purpose of conditioning the body. Exercise consists of cardiovascular conditioning, strength, resistance training, and flexibility. World Health Organization defines physical activity as any bodily movement produced by skeletal muscles that requires energy expenditure. 
Eating habits are defined as conscious, collective, and repetitive behaviors which lead people to select, consume, and use certain foods or diets in response to social and cultural influences. To know if the amount of effort exerted during physical activity will be beneficial to you, the FITT formula should be kept in mind. FITT stands for Frequency, How Often, Number of Training Sessions that are performed during a given period, usually one week. Intensity, How Hard, an individual's level of effort compared with their maximal effort, which is usually expressed as a percentage. Time, How Long, Duration of a workout, including warm-up and cool-down, or the length of time spent in training mode of physical activity. Type, mode of physical activity. For example, you are used to leisurely walking for 20 minutes from your home to school and back, from Monday to Friday. Applying the FITT formula would entail the following adjustment in your physical activity for it to become more than your usual practice such as increasing the intensity of your pace to moderate to vigorous and decreasing the amount of time to do it. And that's all for today's lesson, Grade 10 students. Thank you for tuning in to FB Valenzuela Live. Learn more and work out with me in our next lesson. Once again, this is Teacher Del El Rafon of Bignay National High School saying goodbye for now and see you next time. Ano man ang sitwasyon, tuloy ang edukasyon. Ingat!